At Opera Holland Park, like most opera companies, we're obsessed with getting young people into the opera house. The problem is opera doesn't get a chance to intrude on the hip hop and the rap and the pop. So we're going to take eight inner city teenagers to the opera. We don't know how it's going to turn out. And I'm not sure that they know how it's going to turn out either. Going and confident, basically. Yeah. Does my volume count as my personality? Because I'm a loud person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite loud. Well, I describe myself as a sociable person. I'm quite ambitious. I'm very confident. Sometimes I do like to piss people off. I believe that I am outgoing. Quiet, shy, hardworking. I'm not somebody who always follows the crowd and I'm comfortable to do something that's out of the ordinary. I say I have an open mind. I'm, I'm, I'm open-minded, so I'm down to try anything new, um, anything different out of my comfort zone. Very competitive. Um, I'm funny. I'm a person you can talk to. I, I can't lie, I'm a, I'm a person, I think I'm a good person you can talk to. I do enjoy listening to music like R&B, hip-hop, um, drill. Like grime, hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. Drill. Yeah. yeah, I'm learning about drill. I didn't know this thing called drill. Yeah, a lot of is that like this is like South new London, and young people it? know about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I know I'm not that young. Well, not like that, that but like. Yeah. <laughs> I like Afrobeats, dance hall, soca, yeah. the American stuff, yeah. the British stuff, <laughs> and classical. I don't really know opera too well. I don't think, it's not something that appeals to me. I feel like it's for like, old people. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, invite, if I invite you to my to African party now, yeah. like you might not understand the music you're listening to, but you're going to have a feel for it because people are going to be dancing, people yeah. are going to be jumping. Well, I would actually, because I like African music, but I take uh, your point. Well, you, know, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to do <laughs> something here. It reflects the world back to us. That's all it really does. Okay. Yeah, it's all about human emotions, human experience entirely. I think you need to have something innate to you, innate in you to like opera door. There is a piece in Tosca, mm -hmm. and I think you're going to really, really get this. Mm -hmm. It's called the Te Deum. It's definitely something I want to do, something I want to try out. I want to have that feel for it. I don't think anything to do with like music, uh, movies, books, the, those don't really... I'm, I always ask, like, how does that move people? Because for me personally, it doesn't move me. I don't really know what to expect, honestly. What would you say your big ambition was in life? Was or is? Is. Um, um, first of all, to be the best I can be. I would say that my greatest passion and interest is becoming an artist. I want to be a math teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I want to have a job where I feel like I don't need a holiday from. Well, that's a good ambition. I feel like I'm doing something to help yeah. others. Do you know what that is? Yeah. I want to be a neurosurgeon. I realised that... It was until I saw the consequences of, act of actions that other people have done that I realised myself need to stop before it's too late. Yeah. One artist that I'm inspired by is named Jenny Seville and um, she has this piece of work called Reverse and it depicts her lying down on the floor against glass and she looks as if she's been badly beaten and bruised. Because domestic abuse is something common in everyday life, I thought that it was a very good way of expressing um, my feelings about this particular topic. Okay. Parents assume, people assume. Well, they, they've got to learn to trust you. Oh, that's the same thing I say. The, the exact same thing I say. I want to try and make a piece in the future that puts everything in my life. I want to try and make a piece in the future that puts everything that I've experienced in life together 
so that they can see that it's not just... Oh, can I pause for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. don't worry. Just helping people out, keeping yeah. people safe. There's nothing worse than fulfilling people's expectations when their expectations are down there. Yeah. Yeah, I want to prove a lot of people wrong. Oh, um, one of my greatest ambitions would be to buy my mum a house as well. So as she's looked after me for almost 18 years now, I think that the best thing is to do is to work at work as hard as possible and be able to return the favour for her. So in the summer, we're going to take our group to Opera Holland Park. But for their first experience, we're going to chuck them in at the deep end. And that's by putting them in one of the world's greatest opera houses. Breaks as you grow up, and yeah. so I've, I've been in classical music since my early ages. Yeah. So. Is that something? Is that something that you chose? You yourself chose, or I uh, just I think you chose me because I just <laughs> liked it. I just love doing it, and I just followed what I love. And it takes a hell of a lot of commitment to yeah. become a, an opera singer, and and there's a challenge also. Like when you're in South Africa, classical music is not. Yeah, yeah, same here. It's not that thing that you know uh, families would want their child to to study. You know, when yeah. I said I want to study opera, they were like, "How are you gonna earn money out of opera?" You know, there were a lot of challenges, but I just followed my heart and I went. And now I'm here in the Royal Opera House. So. Wow! So, <laughs> thank you very much, Simon. Brilliant. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, Simon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe a little bit like you before you came today, I had all these preconceptions about what opera was like. I thought it was probably going to be really boring. There were going to be lots of old people there. It was all going to be stuff that I couldn't understand. Um, it wasn't really for me. And then I saw an opera here with my then girlfriend and I thought, wow, this is absolutely amazing just to hear the orchestra and to see these amazing performers acting and singing and just that thing that you heard up there of people producing that sound without any amplification was something which really knocked me out. It is about emotion and that's why people are still engaged with it. Oh, I, want see, wow. I want to see how big this is. Wow. Hey, I'm hearing all wow
So what they've got to do is they've got to take down the set from where it was on the stage, put it somewhere else in the building, and then build the set for the performance tonight. Right there. That. That's Royal the raw box. box. It's there. Yeah. So 50% of our tickets are under £60. Now that compares pretty favourably with the Emirates, for example. You should come and see Opera here, you should go and see it here. No, you should come and see it at Opera Holland Park, which you're going to do in the summer. You go and see opera in pubs, you can go and see operas as... as in pubs? Pubs, yeah. do a lot of pub, opera uh, in pubs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Let the smaller, smaller scale, it's not this scale, obviously, but it's still the, the sense and experience of hearing singers and seeing the dramas. It's in the middle of London, and a lot of the, the ticket prices are not so bad. It's worth having a go, because it's yours, and it's something to be proud of. What it's all about, ultimately, that we see, it's about when you're sitting in that seat tomorrow with this thing just overwhelming you. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, time 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 time. If the time doesn't fly, then yeah, you're really <laughs> A football match is 90 minutes. Come on, that's oh, worth, no, that's no, worth no, it. That, 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 coming into like a, into like, it's not a comfort zone as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's not a comfort zone. Uh, comfort zones are beautiful places, but nothing grows there. For real, for real, for real. For real. For real. That's a shout still. That's a little <laughs> shout still. That's a little shout. Because remember the, remember the first time when Michael brought up? No and then no it. one wants no to do it. Like it. The switch, the slips in the room. It took like three people to, to go, yeah, I'm going to do it. Then everyone went. I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, now so, you're so, glad so, you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it. She does it. Yeah. 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 It's because I'm all talking to action. At the beginning, these three did not want to do it, but I had to beg them to do it. And I'm Myra, Junior and I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. Remember, I'm glad you guys are here. It's a good experience. experience. If you take a girl to the opera house, where do you take her to next? Theo. What? The opera house again. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. It's the only place. There's nothing beyond the opera house, so it's difficult. So you might, as well, you might as well start like this Netflix and chill in the room. Then bring it bring up to Nando's. Bring up to, bring, bring up to Nando's, then no, cinema. No, no. Then, so cinema, then, upgrade, then Opera Holland Park, cinema, then, then Royal Opera the House. Cinema, oh, why are you getting on to my Michael from my house? Man, them, I, I honestly think, I honestly think, all this emotional stuff about opera, I don't think it will bang. I don't think it will bang. Because you know, because you know how um, everyone's singing and everyone gets emotional, you see all these people crying and stuff. I actually think, I, I think it's silly. Sure, I'm not going to cry. I think you're going to cry still. You're going to hear the voice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet, sweet. Oscar, man. Love you, love you, love you. You man are shaking, man. That's not how you do it. We're gonna sit in a nice chair. You man are tired. You don't want to send us. Oh, man, 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 man. Una carrozza, resto, segue la dovunque vada, non visto, rovedi. Sta bene, il convenio. Palazzo Farnese.
Aua! Uh, you deserve that, you deserve it. Um, I actually don't know what to say. It's, it's just like, um, it sort of blew me away, to be fair, to be fair. Junior. My cool. Oh, to be honest, that was much better than I expected. Much better. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. The actors was on point, the singing was on point. It was a really good experience. Amazing. It was, it wasn't what I expected, 100%. And what, what for you was amazing? Everything. The way the music and the acting was just combined beautifully together was just like incredible. That I honestly did not expect that. I was just taken aback a lot. Um, for me personally, I did enjoy the experience overall. And I'm really glad that I was being able to expose to something new that I'd never tried before. And I don't regret a second of that. I, I hate to say this so much, but I was, I was feeling wrong. I was feeling wrong. <laughs> like, 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 I felt it. I felt it. Yeah. And um, there was a bit of emotion running through. It was, it was, like, with the singing, with the music, it just, just worked so well together. And you could feel, like, I didn't even need to look at the, the um, subtitles sometimes because I just, I just knew how they were feeling and what was going on. Just wow, like, it was good. It was really good. For something I was, I'm not used to, for something I've never seen before, it was really good. And you can just tell from the first, from the first, you know, moment that there's something about this one I'm going to like. I don't know what I expected. I just expected, like, boring. That was the word. Yeah. Then you, like, you sit down and like, obviously it takes a while to get into you. But then when you like get into it, I think it was the today. Um, oh, the, the, the today. Um, I told you about the, like, yeah. <laughs> what I liked the most was probably like the third act. It's really? just like, yeah. It's just like you could actually feel the passion between both of them and the, the way they actually just like sang. It's just like. I just can't put it to words, literally. I didn't expect to see children at all. I didn't expect, expect to see that many people on stage. I liked all the other characters, but I didn't like Tosca. For me, she was the villain. Obviously, we were talking before about a bad guy. Scarpy was a good <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> he, was a, he was a brilliant bad guy. Um, For example, with the character of Tosca, I didn't really like her. Well, the end bit. Really moved me. My favorite character had to be Mario. Like Mario. Was, yeah, he was really loyal. He's the one you got. I to. didn't really like Tosco too much, but yeah, you're not the first one to say that. But it was really good. I didn't like the way that like, she seems like someone who beats around the bush and is two faced. With the second act, that that really got to me. That really got to me, especially when the woman was um singing, saying, "Ah, oh, I don't know why you've done this to me, Lord, in my hour of peril." That really got to me. Um, when when she fell off at the end, I, I, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I just, I don't know why, but I felt like a little kid. At the end, she killed herself, which I didn't really understand because for me, I think that Tosco is just a lost character who couldn't find herself mentally. Yeah. There was the bit when Mario, when Mario was getting tortured. He was getting tortured and Tosco, was, she was just singing her heart out and then it was just one like, thing, it just got me. I was just like, whoa, like, what's going on here? It got to a point, I didn't even have to look at the subtitle anymore. I just could flow with it. So, sometimes they didn't even need to sing because the music, the music just, just said everything. I wasn't emotional, but I'll say it was thrilling. It was thrilling. I would say it means, it means the world to me. That I actually can see something, you know, beyond what I would actually think I would do, you know. Ever, ever. And to be fair, you've done a pretty good job, to be fair, to actually get me in here and actually listen to that. And actually sit down for what? An hour and a bit? Two hours. Two, two hours. You know, that's more than a 90 nine, nine minute game, to be fair, but it was great, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs>
I thought of some of these open to trying new things, but in the back of my head, there were certain stigmas that were still there. So like, opera is upper class, and it's like, it's not for people. Like, it's not for people who come up from come from places where I'm from. But then go in, it's just like actually they're just telling a story. Just because they're telling a story differently doesn't mean I can't go. Definitely, I'd definitely do it again. It's a whole new world for me. Yeah. Completely new. I did not know that like, this was actually as good as I thought. It's always the first time for everything. And so after today's experience, I would say that if I was invited to go and watch another opera performance, um, I think I would go actually. Because I'm a person that likes to try new things, but I don't always try it, like I said before. But I'm glad I took that step to actually try something new. Yeah. When you come in person, it's actually, it's breathtaking. As soon as you hear like the first act, it's just like, wow. Honestly, when I first came here, I thought opera was gonna, I thought it was gonna be terrible. But now that I've actually experienced it and I've realized it's quite enjoyable, I can see myself. If someone told me, oh, let's do country music, I actually wouldn't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't mind going this time. And you never know, I may enjoy myself. So I feel like I can see myself coming again and again. Yeah. It's a really good experience. I think I'll come opera again. I can see myself being regular. But I said, oh. it, it, it kills me to say that. It kills me inside to say this because I don't like being wrong. You know, I don't like being wrong. When you're wrong, <laughs> you're right, David. Yeah, I admit it like a man. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was shocked that it caught me emotionally. Like, of course, it wasn't like very emotional, but in the audience, um, there was a woman I was sitting in front of me and she was like proper crying. I was like, I understood why she was crying. I understood why people like opera so much and engage in it because um, it's, it deals with real life issues and it deals with it in such a way that like, it catches you emotionally. And like, I don't understand Italian, but I understood that properly, properly. Do I think that all of these kids are going to become overnight opera fans? Not at all. It's not going to happen. It's not about opera. It's about kids seeing themselves in a different way. Opera is just our vehicle. What these guys need to understand is that they can put themselves in environments and in situations and cultural experiences that they never, ever, ever thought were possible and reevaluate their own self-image and what it is to be me. If we're going to address any of these issues about young people's aspirations, we need to start challenging them in this way and, and challenging themselves to put themselves into environments and situations that they never ever thought they could do. And we don't do enough of it.